G'day and welcome to the Autodata Training Workshop. Another tech tip for you today on radiator caps. The radiator cap is an important part of the cooling system and its basic function is to limit maximum pressure. As the engine heats up, the volume of coolant is going to expand and we need to control the system pressure. So as it expands, we need to let the safety valve off and let that excess coolant go into the header tank. As the cooling system cools down, the volume of coolant is going to contract, so there's an anti-vacuum valve there. It's going to contract, so we need to let more coolant come back in to take its place, or air, depending on the type of system. I've only ever seen two of those play up in my entire career, so it's not very common. However, the pressure release valve is very common to, to fail. What happens is that rubber seal gets soft and it expands and goes over the side of that metal flange. So it should just come like this one, just level with the edge of that metal. If it goes over the edge, what happens is when the cooling system heats up, it expands, the spring compresses, but the excess rubber jams the pressure in there. So the weakest link in the chain is going to fail. Unfortunately, that's usually the heater core, which is right up underneath the dash and very hard to get to or the plastic tanks on the radiator. That's another common failure point. So it's really important that when you do a service on a car, have a visual inspection of the radiator cap, make sure that rubber is not soft and expanded past that metal edge. And I also like to put them on the cooling system pressure tester to make sure that they are releasing properly. The radiator cap is a maintenance item. They typically only last you know, three to four years. So that's my tech tip for today. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments, or if you'd like access to our full Autodata training library, why not get a subscription today? Thanks for watching.